AP Morosi on the inside corner on a Friday. Hello to you, an impactful one on the north side of Chicago. You heard us talking about it earlier, and that would be Craig Kimbrell placed on the injured list with inflammation. I need to know if he's pitching the rest of the way. What are you hearing on the north side? to rest and then time to gear up sounds like a plan to me we spoke with Blake Snell yesterday on the program he came on and we said Blake how you feeling he said I feel close to 100% I feel great when will we see him on a big league mound he asked Snell if he wanted to start that wild card game and he said no Charlie's earned it but I would love to pitch in it so <laughs> something to watch for we will see Snell on the mend Aaron Sanchez going the other way season ending shoulder surgery for him what's his future where is it is a better question before you go, a uh, spotlight shine on Sonny Gray. What a year it's been for him, JP. New York wasn't for him, but it's been successful everywhere else he's went. What are people saying about his turnaround? Club next year, Gray, Castillo, if Bauer gets more comfortable, I'm feeling good. Just as good as I am feeling right now, Lauren, in my tie, which if you've been wondering, this is actually <laughs> a map, a street map of Rome. I was wondering, but I actually knew that. Can't fool me, JP Morales, especially on a Friday. I'm coming with it. Happy Friday. Thank to you. you so much. Sounds good. It's time to check out the biggest weekend. pop Miss Lambs of the week presented by Papa John's. Yeah, they did not a great montage if you're a Red Sox fan like our producer is. The Red Sox had another heartbreaking loss last night to the Twins and are now six and a half games out of that second wild card spot in the American League. And it's not getting any easier. They begin a series with the Yankees tonight and will face Domingo Herman and the Yankees lineup. The Braves, coming off a 4-2 win last night, have won seven straight 11 in a row at home. Keuchel and Corbin on the mound in a rematch of their July 29th game, which the Nats won 6-3. And the Indians took three of four against the Twins last month to move into a tie atop the AL Central. Since then, the Twins have regained their lead. Minnesota's won 16 of its last 22 games and can continue to bash home runs at a record pace, leading the majors with a grand total of 272.